Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your friendly neighborhood basement dwelling nut munching idiot, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. And if there's one way that you can tell that I absolutely hate myself, is that I have to review old laptops. Oh, man, especially interesting ones that come from over the pond. This is an Asus U33J unit, originally made, used. Windows 7 remember back in the day man this unit even though it comes from across the pond these guys were already ahead They had the uh, slider for the camera. They knew someone was watching them, but back then it wasn't even a joke. They, they knew someone could be watching them. Now I want to say that these are Chinese lettering, but as soon as I say that, I know I'm going to be uh, absolutely wrong about that. Now uh, Japanese lettering apparently is Chinese lettering, just uh, finessed up. But if this is from China, then I can understand why someone would want to have this on or off because Winnie the Pooh might be watching them. You don't want Winnie the Pooh watching what you're doing because reasons, but even though he can't watch you, he can still listen to you don't forget that and ladies and gentlemen never forget project five eyes now the nsa the germans the canadians and uh, two other people are watching you so keep that thing muted and keep it off and then hopefully all will be fine now the name of the game is to upgrade this thing as far as i can and see if we can play crisis at a thousand frames per second now we're knocking right into this thing and thank god we can actually get into it looks like we have two uh two gigabyte modules and then we got uh, the hard drive going to upgrade that to a solid state going to see if i can get uh eight gigs into this beast all right that's a nice beginning it looks like it took the new ram so we got eight gigs rocked out in this sucker next up let's toss in an ssd and see how it treats her all right ladies we're all hooked up ready to rock let's get a look at what we got here we got uh cat 5 we got usb 3.0 usb 2.0 headset and oh gotta love the headset headset microphone and um sd card nothing on the back over here we have vga never get rid of the vga guys um this display not display hdmi usb that's the good stuff every system needs three usbs i'm not talking usb c's usb all right nancy hold on to your hat and clutch your pearls as we're blown away by first generation i5 uh quad core we got nvidia geoforce 310m four gigabytes unfortunately we are unable to rock out completely with brand new components because this stuff just won't take my four gig sticks that's what she said <laughs> honestly i couldn't even say the last time i had a first generation i5 sitting in front of me wow this thing actually has dual cards that's interesting so uh let's see how it does in the benchmarks oh my goodness does this thing have two power buttons does this thing not boot off usb there we go i figured it out the thing just needed some percussive maintenance <clears throat> Okay, so we got DirectX 9 going by at 7.21 frames per second. I have problems with newer systems not getting that speed. Uh, I got a lot of uh, i5 9th generations that maybe only hit about 3 frames per second. Next up, of course, we have DirectX 10. Let's see if it can pull it off. We're getting 0.8 frames per second. Okay, I've definitely done better than that before on most of my systems. I wonder if this thing can even handle uh, DirectX. Uh, 11 or 12. Nope, the cake is a lie. It cannot handle DirectX 11 or 12. I think that means that we're not going to be able to run Fortnite on this. Yeah, so Google has it. This thing can't run Fortnite. If it can't run Fortnite, at least you'll be able to run Doom off Steam on it. So you got that going for you. Also, you can st store all your furry prawns on here, my guys. Wah, wah. This thing uh, marks lower than an HP book. 4730s and that ranked at uh 199 i had a barracuda that came with uh some horrible pentium and it ranked 228 this is literally the slowest thing ever but it will probably be pretty good for the stuff that it's actually needed for in its workspace and there's a lot to be said about that why go out and buy something new when you can get something older that'll still work ladies and gentlemen this is perfect for furry prawns you don't need anything else for furry prawns and that makes this not so bad anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me good night make sure you kiss your waitress have a good one